in the world, the beautiful fauna soothes our eyes, often when we find adventures in the woods and love hiking through the forests. But is it safe and guaranteed that all plants are safe for animals? Well, sometimes not, as the carnivorous plants we will be discussing today will change your perspective for sure. So let's get started. Number 10. A worm was brutally crushed by the Venus flytrap. While plants aren't usually brutal creatures, but check what happens when a fat, slithery worm gets into the flaps of this plant. In this clip, we can see that a black, slithery worm tries to pass through the flaps of the Venus flytrap, but it doesn't get through. Before it could cross its path, it was trapped by the plant and its digestion process started almost drastically. We must not forget that the Venus flytrap consists of a sticky but toxic liquid between its flaps, which eventually digests the proteins in the animal's body and sheds off the carcasses eventually and opens the flaps to trap its next hunt. Number 9. A bug struggles to come out of the sticky trap the sundew secreted. The ecosystem is filled with flowers that soothe our soul. But all that shines is not gold, which is proved by the sundew. They are colorful, bright red flowers that look like leaves, but with small tentacles and droplets of sticky substances on its tip. Like in this video, when the bug mistakenly thought that liquid was nectar and went to slurp it out, it got trapped and then passed away after being digested and absorbed by the plant. Number 8. A pitcher plant digests numerous tropical giant cockroaches one at a time when it was fed by someone. As its name suggests, the pitcher plant is a modified shoot of the plant having a pitcher-like shape filled with enzymes to digest protein. While following the rule survival of the fittest and the food chain, it's normal to see how the plant engulfed three big fat tropical cockroaches in its dinner without any effort. Though this experiment was done in a laboratory, out in the wild it can be assumed that pitcher plants do digest large living creatures too, as long as they can fit into their pitchers. Number 7. A bladderwort is catching a water flea and absorbing it into it. Well, though we must be a little frightened by the bloodthirsty plants, do you know that this plant is beneficial? We should thank the bladderworts for digesting fleas and larvae of insects in the water, helping us eradicate vectors like mosquitoes and flies, leading to serious life-threatening diseases. In this video, we can see that the bladderwort is absorbing the water flea into it, gradually cruising it inside and then having it as its food. So the next time you see a bladderwort in any water body, don't forget to say thanks. Number 6. A fly roams around the head of a cobra lily plant and gets trapped in it within seconds. Lilies are such nice flowers, right? But what if I said there is a species of lilies that are not as sober as you think? Well, these are cobra lilies, a kind of predator in the plant world. In this video, we can see that the fly was roaming around the head of the cobra lily plant, most probably in search of food or nectar. But within seconds, it was hunted down and strangled to death. The cobra lily's unique leaves have a hooded structure with a small opening that entices insects to enter. Transparent patches on the leaves disorient the prey, making escape difficult. Once inside, the prey becomes trapped, unable to find its way out. The plant secretes nectar and emits a scent to further attract insects. Within the tubular structure of the leaves, the cobra lily employs various mechanisms to capture and consume its prey. It produces downward-pointing hairs and a slippery surface, causing insects to fall into the pitfall trap. Additionally, the plant releases digestive enzymes into the fluid-filled chamber, aiding in the breakdown of the trapped prey. Number 5. Nepenthes Raja gulps down a whole rat when it accidentally falls into the trap of the plant. Did you know that there are many species of pitcher plants around the globe, and they are giant? The Nepenthes raja is such an example that not only eats insects, but also mammals like the rat we saw in the video. It seems like the plant works out a lot and takes a high range of protein supplements to get beefed up daily. While looking at this video, the mouse seems to be roaming around the jungle in search of food 
and accidentally falls into the pit of the Nepenthes. It was dissolved in the acid inside the plant. Such a deadly plant the Raja is. The pictures of Nepenthes Raja have a distinctive shape and coloration. They are often reddish or green, with prominent ribs and a wide mouth. The uppermost part of the pitcher forms a lid, known as the peristome, which helps to prevent rainwater from diluting the digestive fluid inside. Number 4. A bee came and sat on the nectar-filled tentacles of the giant Drosera regia, got trapped, and succumbed to death. Imagine a truck beside a car. Now which one do you find to be more intimidating? The truck, of course. In the same way, the Drosera regia is a giant sundew with larger tentacles and bigger drops of nectar-like glue all over the tentacles with a sweet smell to attract its prey. In this video, we witness a bee that comes over its tentacles in search of nectar and it can become succumbed to death in no time in front of our eyes. While these giant plants can trap larger animals like lizards and frogs too. The plant, also known as the king sundew, is one of the largest species of sundews, with leaves that can grow up to 50 centimeters in length. Its long, lanceolate leaves are covered in red, sticky, glandular hairs that give it a striking appearance. These hairs serve as traps to capture insects. Number 3. A bee came and sat on the stem of the Biblis, got trapped, and exhausted to death. Well, this plant is not a common one, but the look of this plant is a veiled one. The purple flowers seem to be like tulips, but once you touch the stems, you will find tentacles with gummy substances poking your skin. In this video, we see that the bees come around confusing the plant to be a nice sweet flower plant, ready for pollination. But alas! Never did it know that the Biblis is like a masked beast. Biblis plants have long, slender leaves that are covered in sticky hairs or glandular tentacles. These tentacles produce a sticky substance, often referred to as dew, which is used to capture small insects. When an insect lands on the leaf surface, it becomes stuck in the sticky secretions. The plant then curls its tentacles around the trapped prey, ensuring it remains captured. Carnivorous plants surely can be much more merciless than the animals you get to see in the world. Number 2. The bug sits and struggles to fly after it sits on the leaf of the butterwort tree. Though the name suggests an utter butterfly, the butterwort is not as cute as it seems. A small shrub with dangerous toxins all over its leaves and stickiness more than a velcro is a very unique feature of this plant. In this video, we see how an insect struggles to fly off again after it sits to rest on one of the leaves of the plant but fails every time it tries. That's a pity. Number 1. The ant gets controlled by the mystic zombie fungus. Did you know that zombies exist on Earth? If not, then let me tell you that zombies are there on Earth in the form of fungus and are taking control of other insects. They seem to be dead, but still, the mind is being controlled, and they do voluntary movement even after death. In this video, we can see that a zombie fungus takes control of an ant's brain and starts growing. One well-known example of a zombie fungus is Ophiocordyceps unilateralis, which primarily infects ants. After being infected, the ant's behavior is altered, causing it to leave its colony and ascend to an elevated location, such as a leaf or branch. The fungus then sprouts from the ant's body and releases spores, which can affect other unsuspecting ants below. 